we want to evaluate for the tangent of our angle on the unit circle. So we asked to kind of look at some special angles that we're going to take a look at. So what we want to do is we want to see, you know, how algebraically are we going to do this? So if I ask you what is the tangent of 30 degrees, tangent of 45 degrees, or the tangent of 60 degrees? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to know exactly what the cosine is, right? Remember, when we're dealing with a with a point on the unit circle, the sine represents y. The cosine of your point on the unit circle represents the x-coordinate of your point. And the tangent of your angle of any point on, or any point on the unit circle is going to represent the relationship of your y-coordinate over your x-coordinate. All right? So when we're looking at the unit circle, we're just going to look at our first quadrant. And remember, if here would be 30 degrees, here's a 45 degrees, and here's going to be our 60 degree angle. So remember when we're doing these, right, we can quickly remember that they're all fractions with the denominator of 2. And then remember square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. All right? So remember. If I wanted to figure out this tangent of 30 degrees, that means I'm going to take the y over the x coordinate at 30 degrees. So I look at the 30 degree point on the unit circle, it's right here. I have an x coordinate and I have a y coordinate. So I'm going to take 1 half and divide it by square root of 3 divided by 2. Now there's two different ways you guys can look at this. First way I'm going to do the long way, the next way I'm going to do a little bit quicker. For here, guys, how do you get a number off the bottom? You multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by 2 radical 3. Whenever you multiply on the bottom, you have to multiply up top. Any number multiplied by the reciprocal multiplies off to 1. Then when you multiply this across, you could say these 2's divide out to 1. So you're just left with 1 over radical 3. Now you cannot have a radical on the bottom, so you rationalize the denominator. So you end up with radical root 3 over 3. All right, Tangent's a lot of work. It's not as easy as sine as cosine. Um, let's look at the tangent of 45. Kind of run out of some room here. But the tangent of 45 is going to be the y, which is square root of 2 over 2, divided by the square root of 2 over 2. Ladies and gentlemen, 5 divided by 5 is what? 1. Negative 3,060 divided by negative 3,060 is what? One. Um, one half divided by one half is what? One. It doesn't matter what the number is. Any number that's divided by itself is always going to equal one, right? These are crazy little fractions with irrational numerators and all this kind of stuff. But what is it going to equal? It's just equal to one. They're the same number divided by itself. So it's just equal to one. All right? And the last one, I'm just going to kind of show you a little trick. Rather than having to do all this stuff, because you should know how to do this, but if you want a little shortcut, tangent of 60, I go to my 60 degree angle and I look at my x and my y. So I do square root of 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 half. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm dividing by 2 on both, so what I can really do is just um, divide as those divide out. So I'm really just left with the square root of 3 divided by 1, which is just equal to the square root of 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you work with your tangent. Okay.